Okay, and here I am entering Applewood. There's the sign. Here's a little cottage. Um, it's such a pretty little cottage. Just wanted to get a picture of it. This used to be like the uh, the groundskeeper at one time. Almost fell. It's <laughs> an interesting sculpture. Ha ha ha! 
There's a familiar face. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't this nice? It's so uh, serene. Oh, hey, Marvin. Play with paint. Yep, we got two done now. We're working on the third dragonfly. Mom, right when I heard that I had like a mob of like 20 kids <laughs> pop up at me. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it must be, that must be something for a, a bachelor without a lot of kids around him. <laughs> I got some, some spray cans too, just, uh, get some experience in a hurry about it. Some kids just getting nuts wanting this spray paint. Yeah. Can I have some more blue? Hey Marvin, I know you don't want me to film you. <laughs> Can't paste it. So I'm just going to look all the way around, then I'm going to turn it off for a minute. And what do we have here? Well, this was Creative Crew. We're going to have another workshop I'm just sitting minutes. here until my class. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your artwork then? Do you guys need oh, yes. your comics? You want to show your comics? Here, let me turn this way so I can see them. Yeah, Golden Age Spark for Flint City Comics, uh, okay. John Henry for the Kids Need Art comic, and then uh, mine and my friend Adam and my friend Marilyn, she writes it, our character Rockstar. Right. Logan, would you have your picture? Yes. Do you want to show her what your picture looks like that you just did of first creative crew? Your, your sun print. Okay, Molly, you can show her your Japanese weather doll. And so these are our newer strips right back here. Projects they did for creative crew. Does mom have your print? Hey, show Jenny these your are all our newer strips. There you go. Go show her the project you did with Creative Crew today. What do you have? Oh, oh, you it's made sun that? Sun printing. Oh, is it? Oh, it made. Uh, it kind made of like a negative in the sun. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. What do you have? Is that a ghost? Japanese weather doll. Weather. Oh. Okay. What do you that. do with it, Molly? You hang it up in the window or on the porch. And, and it's supposed to make it sunny out. And then if you flip it upside down, what does it do? Make it rain. <laughs> huh. <laughs> That's interesting. That's all it takes to make it rain, huh? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Great, great. I'll uh, make a little, another little video for our side. I know, it's awesome. Yeah, we had a big group out here earlier. Oh, awesome. really? Oh, it's got to be that water. <laughs> and a couple of the moms were running off to the store to get the materials to be loaded at home, so that's awesome. It was fun. Polly's over there, he, he's talking about how he had all these kids. He don't have any kids, you know, so he's, the little girl says, 
um, do you have some paper towels so I can wipe my hands? And he goes, uh, no, here, use my pants. Aww, that's a parent move. That's a parent move. Use my the little pants. girl just kind of looked at him and ran away. I don't know what she was doing. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it looks like face painting here. Oh, yes. Oh, cool. Let's see what it says. Oh, and then I can uh, maybe put this at the very beginning. Yeah, I'll take a snapshot of it and then I'll put it at the beginning of the video. Hello. Hello, Miss How Jenny. are you? I am a tired girl. I've been face painting since forever. <laughs> Let's see, what are you doing? Oh, what is uh, that? A spider? I'm a spider right here. Right here spider. Okay, I will. How about I'm just going to do one arm and I'll make one arm really cool, okay? Hey. By the time you're done face painting, we'll just start to have to Two spiders. Maybe they're brother and sister. I'll give them some eyes. Oh, that is cool. You should see the other ones. You know, probably will as I'm walking along, huh? <laughs> yeah. This must be the stable. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome to the No, farm. <laughs> I'm with Creative Alliance and I just take these little videos and I have a site <laughs> called FlynnUnderground.org and I put the videos for different things going on in Flint. Oh, okay. Facebook in the morning, huh? Yeah. Okay. You want to give you a card if you want to see. I got a card that's got the info on it if you're interested. Then you can see the video. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Did you want one too? Yes. There you go. Because there's a bunch of videos. There's all different things that go on in Flint. On there. Well, this is a model of Mr. Matt's pig barn here. So, oh, he had there's pigs, a story huh? that goes with it. Mr. Matt used to go to parties and he would tell people that on his farm, his pigs walked upstairs and slept in brass beds. Oh. And so you saw the stairs over on this side. If you look into these windows here, you can see the brass beds. Grass beds in there? Let me see, how am I not looking in there? Huh. Oh, I see them though. <laughs> they do have grass beds. Cool. There was a saying that Churchill uh, said, and nobody believes me, but I found it, it's true. <laughs> he said, this is one of my favorite quotes, he goes, I like pigs. Dogs look up to you, cats look down on us, but pigs treat you like equals. <laughs> well, that's a cow on there for the weather vane, huh? Yes. Yeah, because I, I didn't notice it on there now, huh? <laughs> oh, they have actually horses in here. This is Atticus. Hi, do you care if I take your picture? Can I have them sign a release? <laughs> you a nice horse. Let me see what's over here. Are there more animals? No, this is No pigs, huh? No, no cows. But are they normally here? Uh, some of them are open houses. We'll have not all of them. It's fabulous, the horse. You know, what are you? Who am I? You will become the only like pepper. Me, just kind of like that. He's no other shoe on you. But you're not. Uh, no, no. He's <laughs> got a Hmm. He's trying to get the salt, maybe. Can we get salt? Yeah. 
Maybe. We just don't want the fingers in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. That would be bad. This is the cow. The other side of the barn is the cow side. This is where the cows were. I like even the doors in here have little keyhole doorways. I mean, these are, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, his horses and cows have a good life, I think. So did he eat his cows? Uh, well, everything was <laughs> Yeah. He, uh, Probably milked them, though, huh? Oh, look at this old stove. Yeah, he had, uh, So what's cool about this gadget, I can make things really, really big. All right? So a um, couple questions I want to talk to you about. They're all about the Matt Foundation. Uh, some of the things that I'm going to tell you, um, I just found out some of them today. Okay? Anyway, first thing is, we're going to give the winner a CD. If you can tell me when Charles Stewart Mott was the mayor of Flint, Michigan. Yes, sir. 1912, he's a winner. Uh, you guys looking in your brochure? Okay, brochure. That was too easy. Okay, here's another one. When was the Ruth Mott Foundation started? Uh, nobody? Anybody? Somebody said that? No, I don't know what's going on. No, I think she's passed away in 99. Yes, sir. What'd you say? No, sir. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to come back to that. Maybe you guys can find it in your bushes. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> My wife says 78. Listen. The next one says, um, what did Charles Stewart Mott get his degree? Nope, it's money. <laughs> it's not fine yet. 